Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining the on-demand session, Experience Windows in the Cloud with Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. I'm Tristan Scott, Group Product Manager for Windows 365, and I'm joined by my colleague, Cam Vedbrat, Director of Azure Virtual Desktop. Thanks, Tristan. Today, we're going to share more about how we're transforming the way Windows is experienced and managed with Azure Virtual Desktop and with Windows 365. We'll walk you through each service and how to choose the best solution for your employees, as well as share a customer who benefited from deploying Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 across its global estate. Then, we'll spend some time reviewing how both services can help you stay secure and wrap up by announcing and demoing some new features that we're excited about and we hope you will be too. Let's get started. Windows is a critical foundation for our partners and customers. Whether natively installed on modern hardware or delivered from the cloud using Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365, it is at the core of enabling people's productivity and collaboration experiences. Azure Virtual Desktop has become a game changer for organizations looking for a cost-effective cloud VDI solution to provide new hybrid work strategies. It allows you to enable secure remote desktops and applications with maximum flexibility and full control over configuration and management, all while maintaining security. And you can reduce costs by leveraging exclusive Windows 11 and Windows 10 multi-session capabilities by running multiple users on a single virtual machine. We've seen tremendous growth of the service around the globe and across every industry as organizations see these benefits and more from migrating and modernizing their workloads in the cloud. Now let's turn our sights to Windows 365, a software as a service or SaaS solution built on top of Azure Virtual Desktop. Windows 365 combines the power and security of the cloud with the familiarity of the PC, allowing employees to stream their personalized Windows desktop from the Microsoft Cloud to any device. With Windows 365, we've created a new category of computing, the cloud PC. Just as we brought Office to the cloud with Office 365, we brought Windows to the cloud with Windows 365 to enable new scenarios for the new world of work. We've heard a lot from our customers about how they use each product, especially to help them solve challenges with hybrid work scenarios. I don't think it's any surprise that this is a top of mind issue for many businesses and IT decision makers and their IT teams. And in fact, these are the six most common scenarios that come up for both Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 data security, high capacity computing, bring your own PC programs, business continuity and disaster recovery, temporary workforces, and mergers and acquisitions. Any one of these by itself can be difficult for businesses to navigate, and we have spoken to customers working through multiple overlapping scenarios like these where our virtualization solutions can be a big help. Windows 365 really lights up for customers when they want to move very quickly to stand up a remote or hybrid work solution, especially for on and offboarding new employees, contractors, and interns, or if they want to do it without needing much in-house infrastructure or VDI expertise. Cloud PCs can be set up, deployed, and easily scaled or resized to keep up with the changing user needs. Several or all of these factors come into focus for our customers as they consider Windows 365. And if you think about the flip side of that equation, Azure Virtual Desktop can be a great fit if you already have an on-premises VDI solution deployed and you want to move to the cloud or have the expertise on hand to stand up and configure a cloud VDI environment. If you want to modernize your VDI investments, then Azure Virtual Desktop may be a great fit for your needs. Advanced virtualization functionality like custom workloads, app streaming, or multi-session virtual machines are some of the key reasons to choose Azure Virtual Desktop. In addition to features each service delivers, each also has a different pricing model to meet your needs. Windows 365 is offered as a predictable per user per month subscription, whereas customers only pay for what they use with Azure Virtual Desktop's consumption-based pricing. Your priorities and business objectives are at the crux of evaluating which is the best fit for you. 
you may decide that Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 together are what you're looking for. And we've seen organizations like Grant Thornton UK use both services to meet its needs in multiple scenarios across their business globally. That's right, Cam. Grant Thornton UK is saving hundreds of hours of time with both Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. The company's global footprint is an asset, but it also presents challenges to collaboration and enabling remote work. Grant Thornton UK embraced Azure Virtual Desktop as part of its overall cloud strategy and deployed Windows 365 to help improve collaboration across the global enterprise and onboard remote employees efficiently. Grant Thornton UK uses Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 to keep up with the rapidly evolving nature of its business particularly in the emerging field of machine learning. It had been difficult for the organization's physical PCs to keep up with employee demands for the additional compute power that was required when working with ML models. Those capabilities can be easily added to virtual machines, allowing them to run a script that might take three days on average for the average laptop to be completed in 20 minutes. And they're expecting to save up to 500 billable hours by moving previously in-person visitor audits to the cloud with Windows 365. Visitor auditors can access their cloud PC using multi-factor authentication and work in a safeguarded environment from anywhere. And this also reduces travel and associated expenses. They are also using Windows 365 to onboard new employees faster, simplifying and lightening IT's workload by leveraging Azure Active Directory groups to provision cloud PCs. Across Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365, Grant Thornton UK cited security as a top reason they value both solutions. While operating in a highly regulated industry, Grant Thornton UK needs tools that stand up to strict compliance requirements. Ultimately, embracing Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 serves Grant Thornton UK's customers and their employees, helping them meet strict filing deadlines in a rapidly changing world while staying secure. And we know Grant Thornton UK isn't the only organization seeking security and regulatory compliance solutions, which is why we continue to invest in features and functionality across Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 to meet your needs in an ever-evolving threat landscape. Integrations of Azure Virtual Desktop session hosts and in-session experiences with Azure Active Directory continue with the recently announced public preview of single sign-on and passwordless. This empowers customers to provide seamless access for their employees with single sign-on to reduce friction points and is complemented by the convenience of passwordless, replacing passwords with modern credentials such as Windows Hello for Business and FIDO2. And with Windows 365 being built on Azure Virtual Desktop's platform, it also benefits from these same security capabilities. We're making additional investments for Windows 365 tied to zero trust, like enabling Trusted Launch by default to provide both Secure Boot and a VTPM, or Virtual Trusted Platform Module. With Secure Boot, Azure will prevent the Windows operating system from booting if untrusted rootkits or bootkits are installed on the machine. With a VTPM, your cloud PC has its own secure vault for keys and biometrics, allowing you to enable features like Microsoft Defender Credential Guard to protect against threats on a credential theft, and HVCI, short for Hypervisor Protected Code Integrity, to protect against malicious code injection threats. All of these security enhancements supplied by default in Windows 365 are also available in Azure Virtual Desktop where customers can enjoy the benefits of Trusted Launch, Secure Boot, and VTPM if they choose to deploy Trusted Launch and Confidential Virtual Machines, alongside all other VM types already available. There are two more updates coming to Windows 365. Later this month, we'll release a new device action for e-discovery purposes that allows IT to capture the latest snapshot of an employee's cloud PC with options to remove access when doing a forensic investigation. And finally, all Windows 365 cloud PCs are currently encrypted at rest with encryption keys managed by Microsoft. We are also investing in capabilities to allow customers to encrypt their cloud PC disks with their own keys to meet their security and compliance requirements. 
Now I'm gonna hand over to Bhavya Chopra, product lead for Windows 365, to demo some of our latest features. It's great to see all the new features and functionality coming. With Windows 365 being built on the Azure Virtual Desktop Platform, our aim is to extend many of these same benefits to our customers as part of our complete solution offering. The Windows 365 team is also continuing to enhance current capabilities and add new ones to the service. And I'm excited to share that we're expanding the availability of Windows 365 Cloud PCs to even more types of workers. Windows 365 is now generally available for Government Community Cloud and Government Community Cloud high organizations in the United States. This will enable US government contractors and the local, state, and federal customers they support to securely stream their Windows apps, data, content, and settings from the Microsoft Cloud to any device, anytime. And coming soon, organizations will also be able to provision Windows 365 Cloud PCs for shift or part-time employees that only need a Cloud PC during their workday for a limited time. More on those scenarios coming soon. As you heard from Satya earlier today, Windows 365 app is now in public preview in the Microsoft Store on Windows. With Windows 365 app, you can access your Windows 365 Cloud PCs from the taskbar or the start menu, enjoying the full Windows 11 experience while moving between your local and Cloud PCs. Supported by all Windows 11 devices, the app delivers high-performing and reliable experiences optimized for Microsoft Teams and your other Microsoft 365 apps. Let's take a look at how this works for your employees. In this demo, I'm going to work you through the simplified experience in the new Windows 365 app. Here you can see Melissa has just finished installing the Windows 365 app from the Microsoft Store on Windows and can now directly launch the Windows 365 app from the Start menu. In the future, we will also ship the Windows 365 app in box as part of Windows 11, meaning you won't need to go to the Microsoft Store on Windows to download it. From there, the app will automatically sign Melissa in and deliver a first-run experience to explain all benefits of the application to her. She can also self-serve her Cloud PC to restart, restore, rename, and troubleshoot the connection, a unique feature to the Windows 365 app. During this public preview, we also encourage you to provide feedback to us in the Feedback Hub, which is directly integrated into the Windows 365 app. To launch the Cloud PC Windows 11 session, Melissa simply clicks on Connect, and her session starts either with Windows Hello or securely with the Azure Authenticator app. The Cloud PC session feels familiar, either in windowed mode or full screen mode, enhanced with the simplicity and power of the Microsoft Cloud. Go to the Microsoft Store on Windows and try the Windows 365 app today in public preview. Today, I'm also excited to share that Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365 is now in public preview and will be generally available later this calendar year. This is now enabled for all customers in the Intune console. Let's take a deeper look at how our two products will work together to deliver support for a broader range of endpoint devices and peripherals, advanced security and policy controls, and a great experience in low bandwidth environments. In Intune, I can set this up in the Tenant Administration section, where there's a new option for Windows 365 Citrix connector to turn the integration on. After I've enabled and assigned the licenses, the installation automatically begins, and the licensed employee will be able to access their Cloud PC over in the familiar Citrix environment they use today. On the Citrix Workspace app, they can view their assigned Cloud PCs in the same familiar environment they use today and click to launch the Cloud PC session via single sign-on. Sign up at the link on the screen for more information and get started in public preview today. Prioritizing your employees' Windows 365 experience is of the utmost importance. To help IT best manage their experience on Windows 365, we're announcing Cloud Optimized IT Management, a set of capabilities that enable IT admins to provide a great end user experience. Through Intune, it delivers intelligent insights, harnesses the flexibility and agility of the cloud, and is built with scalable tools to enhance service performance and resilience. These will provide an overview of tenant health 
and visibility into issues ranging from connectivity to connection quality, compute resources, app health, and more, all available in one consolidated view for IT admins in the Windows 365 Cloud PC performance page. Cloud PC connection quality shows round-trip time and available bandwidth, allowing admins to take action to move their virtual network closer to the user's location, reducing latency. Cloud PC utilization enables IT admins to identify idle devices and take actions to either deprovision or reallocate to new users. Resource performance helps admins identify devices that are under-resourced on CPU and memory to take an action and to resize. Alerting allows IT admins to receive alerts for critical factors that impact devices, such as failed network connections, provisioning policy, or image uploads. Additional enhancements are being made in the cloud-optimized IT management, including resize and restore points. Resizing functionality now allows you to downsize cloud PCs in addition to upgrading. And finally, the restore points capability backs up cloud PCs by using incremental snapshots, which provides zone redundancy for cloud PC disks, data recovery, and more. In addition to new cloud-optimized IT management capabilities in the Windows 365 Enterprise Edition, we also continue to enhance the Windows 365 Business Edition to be even more accessible to buy, deploy, and manage. Now in public preview, Windows 365 Business customers that already have Intune licenses can automatically enroll cloud PCs in Intune alongside their existing physical PC estate. On the Windows 365 portal, as well as the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, admins now have a push button capability to enroll all newly provisioned cloud PCs into Intune if the tenant has the requisite Intune license. And in the future, we will make it even easier to sign up for Windows 365 Business and seamlessly log into cloud PCs using a Microsoft account, a personal account that may already be in use by you for services like OneDrive and Xbox Live. All right, that wraps up our Windows 365 demos and news. Now let's hear more about our future roadmaps. With Windows 365 being built on Azure Virtual Desktop, it benefits from many of its features. Features like Azure AD Single Sign-On and Passwordless Authentication, RDP Short Path for Public Networks, Universal Print, and many more. And there's also other features coming to Windows 365, like the new Windows 365 app, which is in public preview today, providing employees access to their cloud PCs from the Start menu or taskbar. Easier sign up for Windows 365 Business Edition is coming soon with Microsoft account support. Windows Auto Patch automatically updates Windows 11 and Windows 10, Microsoft Edge and Microsoft 365 apps, and is already available for Windows 365 cloud PCs. E-discovery support is coming to general availability later this month, allowing you the ability to capture the latest snapshot of a cloud PC and control access during forensic investigations. Please keep sharing your feedback about Windows 365 at the link shown on the screen. And stay tuned as we share more about both Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 roadmaps and feature availability in the coming weeks and months. As we wrap up, I want to thank you once again for joining us today. We hope you're as excited as we are about the future of Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. Tune in to other sessions at Ignite to learn more, and join us on October 24th to 27th at our Technical Takeoff event for technical deep dives on even more great product updates. Thank you.